back to another friend mail video. This one is from my awesome subscriber and friend Karen. Um, she actually went to Hawaii and picked me up some awesome lip balms while she was there, along with some samples she asked if I wanted, which of course. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys what she sent me. So I'm just going to blindly reach in and pull them out one by one in whatever order they come out in is what I'll show them to you in. So first things first, this is by, what is the brand on this? I think the brand is Hawaiian Bath and Body, and this is in pineapple. It's got a cute little pineapple on it. So there's that one. I've actually never heard of this brand before. This. Whoops, I dropped it. I never heard of this brand before this, so I'm not sure how they are, but it looks like they're organic. So sounds like they should be pretty good. So there's that one. There is this tube from Aquafina. I have actually never had an Aquafina lip balm, guys. Like, I, I've looked at them on eBay before, but I've never actually seen one in a brick and mortar store. You guys keep telling me you see them in dollar stores. I've never once found them. Not once. In none of the formats. Not in the sticks, not in the glosses, not in the pots. I've never found them. So, this actually really excites me to have one. So, this one is the Hydrating Lip Oil in Berry Loco. So that actually sounds really good. I'm not sure if it's tinted or not, but in general, it just sounds really good. I'm just taking a glance over what's in it. Oh, these are by GBG Beauty? I didn't know that. Huh. I had no idea. Are all the Aquafina ones by GBG? And I just never knew? <laughs> I thought they were like their own like subsidiary brand for some reason. That's okay. And then I have, what brand is this? Oh, this is from the Dole Plantation, and this is Marvelous Mango. So I will show you the packaging. And as always, you guys know, there will eventually be reviews of all the things. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take me to get around to reviewing all the things, but I will review all the things, because I always do. So there's this one. There is also from the Dole Plantation. This one's in Juicy Pineapple. Look at the cute packaging. The pineapples are so cute. I love them. I finally have the Maui Mikes in banana. I've never had a Maui Mikes before because if you try to order from their website, they're actually pretty pricey. Uh, he says that the lip balms themselves are free, but shipping is 12 bucks and you get like four of them. But, I don't know. <laughs> so I've never actually had one before, but I'm really excited to, at the very least, try the banana one. So, I'm really, really, just, I've told you guys so many times how rare it seems to be to find banana lip balms. So, I'm super stoked to have this one. <laughs> like, you guys don't even know. Um, so there's that one. Here's another one from... Hawaiian Bath and Body in Sugarcane, which I think I can safely say I've never seen another lip balm in the sugarcane flavor before. I'm like, really? I'm not sure if that's just gonna be like sugary or if it's gonna be like brown sugar or what, but I'm really excited for that just because it's so unique. And then there is the Chapstick Watermelon Lime. Some of you have told me that this year's release is different from the past one, because I think the other one was the Slurpee Watermelon Lime, so I can believe that that's different, so I'm really excited to be able to try that. And then, also from the Dole Plantation, this one is in Pineapple, a different packaging. And... And another banana, which makes me so happy. I just, oh my god. Like, seriously, you guys, you have no idea how hard it is to find banana lip balms. And then one more from Hawaiian Bath and Body. This one's in tangerine. So we'll see if it actually is tangerine or if it's just orange. I'm really intrigued by that because I've seen it go both ways with lip balms before. So... And then this one I have reviewed before, but then they retired it and they just recently brought it back. But this is the Chapstick Total Hydration in Sweet Peach, which was like my favorite ever of Chapstick Total Hydrations. But remember, 
my old one broke. <laughs> and I was so sad over it. So I finally have a replacement and it's a nice fresh one. So yay. I just, I cannot tell you guys how happy I am that they brought this flavor back because of all the ones to retire for a while. Of course it had to be that one, but it seems like lately a chapstick is really pushing peach and I could not be more stoked. Like honestly guys. And then, okay, so now we've got the two samples. This one is from Clinique. Here's the front of it. Here's the back. We've got a little sample of guava in the Pout Perfecting Balm and the Pout Restoring Night Mask. And then these are from Sephora and they're samples of the hashtag Lip Stories from Beauty Uncomplicated and they have the really cool tubes. These are just some of them. There's like over 40 of them. And there's samples of these four colors in here and these are what their, their tubes look like. So the colors are Tan Lines, and it's a cream, Labyrinth City, it's matte, A Little Magic. Ooh, I noticed a typo. There's three T's in that. <laughs> I wonder if that was intentional or not. A Little Magic in matte, and a Berrylicious in a cream satin. And yeah, it says available in 40 shades of cream, matte, and metallic finishes. So I'm going to definitely take a look at that because these apparently cost $8 each for the full size tubes, but I mean, you know, if it's a pretty enough color, I think that could very well be worth it. I don't think it'd be a brand that I could collect all the things of in that price range, but I mean, I can get some of the good ones. So anyways, that was what I got from Karen. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending me these. These are just awesome and I cannot wait to use and review them. Uh, all of them look amazing. So really, really happy with these and I couldn't wait to show you guys what I got. So anyways, that is it for this one. So you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, especially since we're hitting that part of the day where all of a sudden, oh, I'm getting the reflections on my face. So I better wrap this up quick. Um, uh, make sure you're following it. <laughs> I forgot my own sign off. Do it in order. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to be and hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below about anything at all really. Oh yeah, these reflections are not cute. <laughs> uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. So anyway guys, I'm gonna go eat dinner, so see ya.